you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries december 22nd tuesday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke chapter 1 verses 46 to 56 and mary said My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my savior for he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant surely from now on all generations will call me blessed for the mighty one has done great things for me and holy is his name his mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation he has shown strength with his arm he has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has lived, filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. According to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. And Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear friends the magnificat is not exactly what one would expect to hear from the lips of a simple village girl it has been described as a highly dangerous revolutionary statement with strong political overtones it is mary's response to the greetings she received from her cousin elizabeth who protested that the mother of her lord should come to visit her when it should be should have been the other way around the song is full of joy especially because may we recognize that god has acknowledged the presence of a simple girl giving in a small place in the eyes of the world a person of no consequence but where god is concerned everyone is equal my spirit rejoices in god my savior for he has regarded the low state of his handmaid then considering her present uh, obscurity she makes a extraordinary prophecy for behold henceforth all generation will be called be me blessed for he who is mighty has done great things for me blessed indeed with the unique grace of being chosen as mother of incarnate god yet the prophecy has more than been fulfilled and is as true today as it ever was mary then goes on to say that he is not the only one of god's little ones who will experience a reversal of prayers his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation he has shown strength with his arm he has scattered the proud he has put down the mighty from their thrones excelled the low lowly he has filled the hungry with good things and rich he has sent him to empty it almost remains one of that famous manifesto when the workers were told that told they had nothing to lose but their chains god has great things in store up for his people it is again a vision of the kingdom of god's will being done on earth it is goodness the realization of mary what mary thinks about will only take place when we all together work together with jesus to bring it about with mary let's say today a resounding yes to god's plans for his children amen may god bless us